Second Kings chapter 11, and Athalia was the mother of Ahaziahu. And when she saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the offspring of the rain. But Yehosheba, the daughter of sovereign Yoram, daughter of Ahaziahu, took Yoash, son of Ahaziah, and stole him away from among the sons of the sovereign's sons who were put to death. So they hid him and his nurse in the bedroom from Athaliahu, and he was not put to death. And he remained with her in hiding in the house of Yah for six years while Athaliah was reigning over the land. And in the seventh year, Yehoyada sent and brought the commanders of hundreds with the Karaites and the runners and brought them into the house of Yah to him. And he made a covenant with them and took an oath from them in the house of Yah and showed them the son of the sovereign. And he commanded them saying, this is what you are to do. One third of you who come in on the Sabbath to be on guard in the sovereign's house and one third at the gate of Sur and one third at the gate behind the runners. And you shall be on guard in the house least to be broken down. And the two detachments of you who are going out on the Sabbath shall be on guard in the house of Yah for the sovereign. And you shall surround the sovereigns on all sides, every man with his weapons in his hand. And whoever comes within the ranks, let him be put to death. And be with the sovereign as he goes out and as he comes in. So the commanders of the hundreds did according to all that Yehoyada the priest commanded. And each of them took his men who were going in on the Sabbath with those who were going out on the Sabbath and came to Yehoyada the priest. And the priest gave the commanders of the hundreds the spears and shields which had belonged to the sovereign Dawid that were in the house of Yah. And the runners stood, every man with his weapons in his hand, all around the sovereign, from the right side of the house to the left side of the house, by the slaughter place in the house. And he brought out the son of the sovereign and put on him the diadem in the witness. And they set him up to reign and anointed him and they clapped their hands and said, let the sovereign live. And Athalia heard the noise of the runners, the people, and she came to the people into the house of Yah and looked and saw the sovereign standing by a column according to the ruling. And the chiefs and the trumpeters were beside the sovereign and all the people of the land rejoicing and blowing trumpets. And Athalia tore her garments and cried out, treason, treason. And Yehoyada the priest commanded the commanders of the hundreds, the officers of the army, and said to them, Take her outside the ranks and slay with the sword whoever follows her. For the priest said, Do not let her be killed in the house of Yah. So they took hold of her, and she went by way of the horse's entrance to the sovereign's house and was put to death there. And Yehoyada made a covenant between Yah and the sovereign and the people to be the people of Yah, also between the sovereign and the people. And all the people of the land went to the house of Baal and broke it down. They completely broke up its slaughter places and images and killed Matan, the priest of Baal, before the slaughter places. And the priest appointed inspectors over the house of Yah and took the commanders of hundreds and the Karites and the runners and all the people of the land and they brought the sovereign down to the house of Yah and went by way of the gate of the runners to the sovereign's house. And he sat on the throne of the sovereigns and all the people of the land rejoiced and the city had rest for they had slain Athaliahu with the sword in the sovereign's house. Yehoash was seven years old when he began to reign.